What's going on all thanks for tuning in once again Let's just quickly recap again Joshua versus Dubois um, I just want to talk about the advice that was given to AJ You know, we all know that he got knocked out um, Beaten quite badly, you know, probably the worst beating that he's taken in his career um, but it's the advice that was given, you know, before the KO, which was which was um, very shocking, you know, in my opinion. You know, he was told to roll the dice, you know. Basically, Joshua was saying, hey, this guy isn't, he doesn't have anything going on. Um, he's going to come out fast. He had nothing. And, you know, his corner, Ben Davidson's basically saying, Roll the dice, you know, we've got to be smart. Now, I don't know what smart means in terms of rolling the dice, you know, basically taking a gamble. Um, there's nothing smart about that, you know, this is just a guy watching, you know, just one opinion, please leave your own. But, you know, if you think about the amount of times that Joshua fell over, you know, it's clear, pretty clear that he's on his last legs. Um, the first knockdown I don't think he recovered from and to top it off you know they're basically telling him to throw the uppercut they're saying hey double up on the jab and come up the top you know throw an uppercut is basically what they're saying which just doesn't make sense to me you know because um, he had him hurt you know and Joshua with his jab hasn't really been effective you know this isn't Joshua versus Franklin this is a case where Joshua was throwing light jabs you know this is what costed him the first knockdown you know he's throwing a jab very lightly nothing on it basically trying to put his hand out to keep Daniel away Daniel comes over with the overhand right which costed the first knockdown you know so it was a very bizarre, you know, piece of advice in my opinion. Um, you know, you think about guys that can punch, you know, you think Canelo versus Bivol, where a lot of the fight, Canelo was on the ropes. Um, Bivol was very smart, you know, he was, he, he was the smart one, you know, that's what being smart is, you know, he made sure that he wasn't deep inside the pocket, you know, he kept safe distance because he was well aware that Canelo had a great left hook, you know, we've seen this left hook recently drop Bolanga, you know, we've seen seen it drop multiple opponents, you know, he always seems to drop somebody with that left hook, doesn't he? And Joshua, you know, being two-handed, you would think jumping deep inside the pocket with a, you know, basically a leaping right, right uppercut is the worst advice you could give someone, you know, take um, rolling the dice, the worst advice you can give someone that's on their last legs. No, I agree, I agree to them in the sense where, hey, you're in survival mode, if you land something, you've got to take them out, you're not going to survive the fight, you know, I understand that part of it. But, you know, there could, there could have been better um, advice given, you know, what I would have told Joshua Again, you know, this is just one man's opinion. Um, just like I mentioned in the breakdown, you know, Dubois needs to be hit. This isn't Frazier bobbing down, you know, always staying low. This isn't Mike Tyson always staying low and, you know, basically you need to, you know, land body shots or land uppercuts to land something on him. No, this is a guy that's always standing up and he's there to be hit, you know. So... We've seen Daniel get hit multiple times in his last fight. You know, we know that the straight shots are there. I would say, hey, you know, if you do land something um, on this guy, you know, you've got the power to really do some damage. If you do land something, back him into the corner, which he done, and try to take him out. But make sure that you are not too close to him. Maybe try landing a left hook, you know. I mentioned the body shots, you know. That first right hand that Joshua lands on Dubai, you know, really hurts him. And Joshua was able to land another two 
shots after that. Had Joshua, you know, got him to the corner, stepped back, landed a hook to the body, you know, or landed a hook over the top, I believe he would have been able to, to possibly put him on the canvas, you know, with a, with a combination. Joshua, very well known as a good combination puncher, you know, like I say, he's got power on both hands. That's the advice I would have said, hey, if you hurt him, try to take him out with the combination, but just be careful, especially with that overhand right, you know, that's the, that's the shot that basically put Joshua down in the first place. You know, the way to avoid that shot would have been to hook to the body, maybe, you know, um, fed to, to his right side, you know, stay to, his, stay to Daniel's left side, I should say. You know, that way at least he can turn, turn the punch a bit, you know, you know what I mean? So, rolling the dice with big haymakers, you know, that was uh, a bad move in my opinion. Especially the uppercut, you know, the worst punch you could have thrown. So, I mean, Joshua, you know, surprisingly caught him. I think everyone was surprised that he got, that he found Dubai because he struggled so much to try to land anything on him, you know. He couldn't really measure him. People were surprised that he was able to actually daze him, um, buckle his leg, back him to the ropes, you know. That was his perfect opportunity. And... It's pretty clear that, you know, those combination, power combination um, punches that he usually throws to put people down, you know. You look at the Ruiz fight, you know, you see him putting him down with the free punch combination, you know. Had he have thrown something like that against Dubois when he did catch him, who knows, you know, who knows. What I basically saw was a splitting image of Dubois um, when he dropped Usyk, you know, drops Usyk. And he's very one-handed, you know, for some reason he's only thrown one hand, you know, I saw the same from Joshua, it was a very bad call, you know, just to try to knock him out with one punch, um, and not only that, you know, he, he saw that that first punch that he landed didn't really knock him down, so the punch selection was really bad, the advice was really bad, um, Joshua had his chance, but you know, that's all I really wanted to say, you know, really bad advice, shocking, um, does he have a rematch, I believe that he will go for the rematch, it's possible, um, there's no rematch clause, but Joshua's got one more punch with Saudi Arabia, you know, um, the right rehab season, I believe it's called, so basically, you know, he's got a lot of fights that he can choose from, you know, we know this Saudi money is no joke, Dubois himself said that he's open for the rematch, so it just depends what AJ wants to do, I would like to see it again, um, I think that he can definitely, you know, do a lot better, he just can't afford to get caught really, you know, he can't really afford to get caught because he can't handle those big punches and, you know, he can't seem to find his legs, you know, this isn't Tyson Fury hitting the deck, getting up, and then the next round, you know, he's up boxing a guy, no, this is a guy that's in survival mode once he hits the canvas, so, I would definitely, you know, re-strategize, maybe get another trainer, or possibly just, you know, watch it back and use your strengths, you know, which is combination punches, and 100% keep the guard up. That's my take on it anyway. Leave yours. Look forward to the comments. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.